So after configuring the burp suit proxy last video uh, with that neat little trick I showed you, um, it is time to look at the spider tab because the spider tab can be used for content discovery and getting a greater view over your scope as we discussed in the second video. So if I go to Hacker 101 again, it's a really cool resource. Resource. Um, oh, that's the wrong app. But I go if I go up to do burp, paste this URL. I have to edit it, by the way. All right. And we go over to the spider tab and its options. I will show you first what it does. And it's quite obvious. I mean, if you click on a link on the website you're um, having a scope on, you will see that it automatically creates a scope or a side map here. We have been over this, but you can do this uh, way faster, by the way, by using the spider. By now, the by default, the spider is paused, but just pressing the button will result in automatic crawling of the website, with, which will expand the sitemap um, automatically with new URLs that are hidden in the source code of the HTML. Um, and you can see there are quite a few files we haven't automatically found. So this comes in handy when finding new entry points uh, for attack factors, right? So let's look at the options for the spider. Let's start at the bottom. You can some there's a little note here. Since a lot of um, programs tell you, please don't use automated programs. Or if you do, please have, add a special header if you're spidering. You can um, add that header here. At the bottom, it says request headers, press add. And maybe and then your hacker one username. So that the sys sysadmin will know that you were spidering them and this was your hacker one account as a reference in the log files. All right. Uh, you have the HTTP option use uh, version 1.1, use refer header. Yeah. And so that is if it found some content and it's spidering, let's say, for example, index.html and it finds a link to main.css, it will use the refer header if enabled on main.css from uh, index.html, if that makes sense, right? All right, so that's the most basic uh, stuff. But then the spider engine, which, uh, which has um, a real cool option in my mind because you can throttle uh, random uh, variations to the timings of the of the spidering the crawling of the website because then it will look like there are just a lot of people on the website clicking manually so it wouldn't look like as a machine in this case burp suit was crawling the um, the website and you have got the different options here, the timings between, the standard timing between um, requests, number of um, uh, retries on network failure, and number of threats. If you increase this number of threats significantly, um, your machine will run slower. So keep that in mind. 10 is a good average. If you look above that, you will see application login. It also detects forms and tries to submit them. But in the by default, it will prompt for guidance. It will prompt you saying, hey, I found this form. What do you want to do with it? You can um, say, okay, accept it. 
or don't send it or say don't submit forms in this case login forms or use these credentials if you find a login form all right then above that form submissions you can add default data so for example when it finds finds a, a registration page it will automatically fill in the um, the fields with these values you can add new values you can edit existing values so it will do this on the fly the downside is if you uh, are automatically submitting registration forms you might uh, end up with a um, spamming fake user accounts to the website if it's not properly protected by a <coughs> recapture or something like that it will probably also find newsletter sign up forms and submit those all right um then passive spidering and this is what <coughs> excuse me this is what uh, extends the, the sitemap if you click a link, for example, videos, and then new entries would automatically add here. That's passively spidering, and it's def enabled by default. And it also says, passively spider as you browse. Well, that makes sense. It detects slash main.css, for example, and then puts it, here on the list in the this main.css all right next crawling settings what to check for check for robots txt that's always a good thing to start even your uh, reconnaissance at because admin says no to the bots for slash cms and we say yes we're going in Detect not found responses or four or fours and report them. Uh, ignore links to non-text content. I don't know. If you are looking for um, binary types like PDFs or maybe tar files with backups, stuff like that, you really, really, really want to disable this check. Request the root of all directories. Yes, ask for files. <coughs> so that we can automatically check if uh, there is a directory listing and another few options then we go to the control tab we have the button now spider is running but it stopped because all links are found clear queues well if i'm right clear all the results no it doesn't okay what does clear queues do if you want to reprioritize your work you can completely clear queued items so in order so that other items can be added to the queue note that the cleared item may be requeued if they may remain in scope and the spider parser encounters new links and items okay okay so basically what it says is if the spider finds URLs that are not spidered yet, let's say in index.html, it finds um, references to main.css, and um, main.css has not been spidered yet, it's added to the queue, to a waiting list. Clear queues will clear that queue. All right. So we got scopes as in every tab uh, use the suit scope defined in the target tab that's this one that's default by default enable custom scope so you can i don't know work on a different website from the spider i don't know you can paste um, your scope in here all right now there's another thing i wanted to show you because from the target list, if we go to the site 
Um, let's see. If we can re remove these references. Remove from scope. Well, that's not exactly what I wanted. But what you can do is uh, also just click spider this branch. And it will automatically spider the branch. And it will automatic automatically create a custom scope, as I said. And there's only one thing I don't understand at this point, because we said assets and there was main dot uh, CSS, uh, main dot, yeah, CSS as well. I don't know why it um, doesn't show right now. Let's go to spider. Spider is running, but I don't know. This might be a bug that main.css is not showing up now that we are, um, uh, now that, now, I don't know. Should it be? It could be a different scope. Let's try something. Because it's in a custom scope right now. No. Okay, I have to look into this. It's good that I filmed this. <coughs> so, guys, that's it for the spider tab. Uh, in the next video, we are going to skip the scanner tab because it will only give you this information page. I might do a video about this in the professional series, but we instead we skip right ahead to the intruder tab. Another mysterious tab, and this is a really cool tab. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.